Is the universe real or are we a myth? Philosophers and subsequent scientists have struggled to address this question since the emergence of human intelligence. There have been several interpretations that have cast doubt on the reality of our universe over time. Some argue that we are actors in pre-written stories like those seen in plays or movies, while others say we are involved in simulations like in video games. Another issue is the philosophical question of what reality is. Three scientists contend that reality may not be the universe we now inhabit. The idea of reality in our universe, as we have long known it, has been usurped by this year's Nobel Prize winners John Kloster, Alan Aspect, and Anton Zellinger. Throughout history, people have looked to the sky to navigate vast oceans, determine when to plant crops, and discover where we came from and how we got here. It's a discipline that broadens our perspectives, contextualizes our place in the universe, and has the potential to change how we experience the world. Copernicus's assertion that Earth was not the center of the universe sparked a revolution, a revolution in which society, science, and religion all had to accommodate a whole new way of thinking. Astronomy has always had a strong influence on how we perceive the world. Celestial bodies were associated with the gods in early societies, and their movements across the sky were viewed as foreshadowing of future events. There are traces of this history in what we now call astrology, which is far from the precise measurements in high-tech equipment of modern astronomy. Consider constellation names like Andromeda, the Greek mythological bound maiden, or Perseus, the demigod who rescued her. As our understanding of the universe expands, we discover that we and our perspective have grown increasingly intimately entwined with the stars. Understanding that the core components of stars and the gas and the dust that surrounds them are the same components of our bodies has enhanced humanity's relationship with the universe. Because of how this link affects us personally and the wonders it creates, modern civilization may be so drawn to the breathtaking sights produced by astronomy. There are many unanswered topics in astronomy. We have no correct answers to questions like, how old is the universe? What will happen to the universe? And perhaps most intriguingly, how special is the universe? And could a slightly different universe ever have supported life? However, astronomy regularly sets new records for the farthest distances traveled, the large size objects observed, the highest temperatures, and the most intense explosions. While finding answers to these questions is an essential part of being a human being, it has become increasingly important in today's society to be able to defend that pursuit. Despite everything we know about the world, physics have found it hard to answer one simple but fundamental question. What is real? We understand that particles exist and that measuring them reveals specific qualities, but we also realize that measuring a quantum state or simply permitting two quanta to interact can fundamentally change or determine what is measured. There is not a fundamental way in which an objective reality independent of the actions of an observer could exist. However, this does not undermine the reality that nature is subject to laws. Such rules do exist, even if they are challenging to understand and appear illogical. Rather than arguing the merits of various philosophical perspectives, we might employ carefully prepared experiments to discover more about the true quantum nature of reality because even two entangled quantum states must follow specific rules. Quantum information sciences are emerging as a new field with potentially revolutionary implications. John Kloster, Alan Aspect, and Anton Zellinger were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2022 for their contributions to the discovery of quantum information systems, the creation of entangled photons, and the define of Bell's inequalities. The science behind it is mind-boggling, and it is a Nobel Prize that has been long overdue. We may carry out a variety of experiments to demonstrate how unpredictable our quantum reality is. Place some radioactive atoms in a container and leave them for a specified amount of time. Average estimates of how many elements will survive versus how many will decay are conceivable, but accurate predictions of which atoms will live or not are impossible we can only calculate statistical probabilities. A magnetic field will cause half a set of quantum spin particles to deflect up and the other half to deflect down in the direction of the field. If you don't pass them through another perpendicular magnet, they'll preserve their spin orientation in that direction. If you do, their spin direction will become randomized once more. Some aspects of quantum physics appear to be utterly random, but are they just random or do they appear random because we know so little about these systems that determining a deterministic reality behind them is impossible? Since the birth of quantum mechanics, physics have argued this from Einstein to Bohr and beyond. 
The most basic definition of quantum entanglement is that features of one particle in an entangled pair rely on elements of the other particle, regardless of their distance from one another or the object separating them. These particles could be electrons or photons, for example, and one feature for their behavior could be whether or not they are spinning in one direction or another. The strangeness of quantum entanglement is that even if two particles are millions of light years apart, measuring one of them instantly tells you something about the other. This odd instantaneous connection between the two particles seems to contradict a fundamental universal law. Albert Einstein refers to the phenomena as spooky activity at a distance. Even so, until the 1970s, scientists were divided over the reality of quantum entanglement. Even with reason, who would dare to contradict Einstein, who had his reservations? New experimental technology and courageous researchers were required to address this problem once and for all. To truly appreciate the uncomfortable aspect of quantum entanglement, one must first understand quantum superposition. The concept of quantum superposition asserts that particles can exist in several states at the same time. When a measurement is taken, the particle appears to choose one of the superposition states. For example, many particles have a feature known as spin, which can be measured as up or down depending on the analyzer's orientation. A particle, on the other hand, exists in a superposition of spin up and down until its spin is measured. Each condition is connected with a probability, and a large number of measurements can be used to predict this typical result. These probabilities decide whether a single measurement will go up or down, yet this probability is unforeseeable in and of itself. Because of the reality of quantum superposition, the founding architects of quantum mechanics who constructed the theory in the 1920s and 1930s were aware of the unsettling nature of quantum entanglement. Entangled particles are created by essentially separating a system into two components, the sum of which is known. For example, a particle with a spin of zero can be divided into two particles whose spins must be opposite each other and whose sum is zero. Physicists, including Einstein, presented a range of alternative theories for quantum entanglement in the 1930s. They proposed that an undiscovered property known as hidden variables determined a particle's initial state. However, at the time, neither technology nor precise measurement criterion existed that could be employed to establish whether hidden variables needed to be added to quantum theory. Before the 1960s, there were no indicators as to the solution. Brilliant Irish physicist John Bell, who died before receiving the Nobel Prize, devised a strategy to test if the concept of hidden variables made sense. Bell developed Bell's inequality equation, which is now known to be accurate only for hidden variable theories and never for quantum mechanics. Thus, if Bell's equation is proven to be unsatisfactory in a real-world experiment, local hidden varying theories can be ruled out as a logical answer for quantum entanglement. The Bell inequality equation was tested for the first time in the 2022 Nobel laureates experiments, particularly those of Alan Aspect. In the trials, entangled photons were used instead of pairs of an electron and positron used in previous experiments. The findings invalidated the theory of hidden variables, a mysterious feature that would predict the states of entangled particles in advance. These combined experiments and several others that followed provided support for quantum mechanics. Objects can be related in ways that classical physics cannot explain over long distances. It is also crucial because special relativity, which prohibits communication faster than the speed of light, is not in conflict. The correlation of data over long distances does not show that the particles are communicating. The phenomenon presents the information from being conveyed faster than the speed of light between two parties measuring entangled particles. Physicists are still investigating the potential applications of quantum entanglement and researching it. Although quantum physics may predict the probability of a measurement with outstanding accuracy, many scientists remain skeptical that it properly describes reality. However, one thing is certain, there is still much to say about the mysterious field of quantum mechanics. And on that note, we have come to the end of this video. What are your thoughts on quantum entanglement and superposition? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.